see you again. Welcome to Copenhagen. Thank you. My name is Danbach Christensen. I'm a principal scientist here. My role is to characterize our products. We have seven products in, in clinical development now, constituting 14 antibodies in total. So uh, there's a lot of characterization work to be done. We started uh, evaluating native mass spectrometry maybe one and a half years ago in collaboration with Thermo Fisher. And we quickly saw incredible performance uh, with the charge variant uh, native MS. That's important because for the most complicated products we have, we are not able to do intact mass spectrometry with the conventional approaches, meaning reverse phase based separation prior to the MS because in order to separate our really complex products you need chromatographic conditions that are not compatible with mass spectrometry. So we then tested the charge variant analysis of native MS and it worked beautifully. For native mass spectrometry, we use a thermal scientific Vanquish Horizon UHPLC system, and that is connected to a thermal scientific QXactive Plus with a Biopharma MS. With this technology, we're able to get MS readout for all the antibodies without any kind of pre-fractionation, which we typically had to do to isolate the individual antibodies from our mixtures. It's just a tremendous step upwards in terms of uh, getting intact mass information for, for your products. It's important to remember that these antibodies in the most complicated products are, are highly similar, so they are challenging to, to separate by any technique. Um, so we would do a two-step isolation using ion exchange um, that would require massive amounts of material. Uh, it's labor intensive because it's done manually. With the native MS, with the charge variant in front, we can do the analysis in, in 15 minutes without any sample preparation. So it's, it's, it's two different worlds and it's something we rely extensively on now. When we develop native MS methods, it's, uh, we like the fact that we can uh, use Chromelion because we, we're so familiar with that platform uh, in our HPLC lab. We've been using it for uh, almost two decades now. When we initially tested the native MS, uh, that was using the Orbitrap technology and, and a thing that struck me was the difference in quality of the spectral data. You have uh, much higher resolution and, and cleaner results with the Orbitrap technology than you do with the time of flight uh, technology. So that means, for instance, if you were to compare the, the raw non-deconvoluted spectrum with the deconvoluted, on a tough base system, you can see how the deconvolution algorithm is, is changing your data. If you do the same on an uh, Orbitrap uh, native MS data or even just uh, intact mass data in general on, or on Orbitrap, you can see that the, the, the deconvolution algorithm has very little impact on, on the, the data quality. So that means the, the, the starting data quality is, is just uh, at a different level. So we just find the, the quality of the, the raw data is, is uh, uh, superior with the Orbitrap technology in terms of intact mass spectrometry, uh, including native MS, of course.